Hi, Dr. Minkoff. I started talking about autoimmune disease in an earlier video and I want to just recap that for now. So autoimmune disease means that your body's immune system is attacking you. Uh, why does this occur? Well, it occurs because there are proteins that are coming into the body that the body thinks are foreign. And those proteins, oftentimes it comes in with food, like undigested proteins through what we call a leaky gut. The gut is allowing things to come in that shouldn't come in. Now, if you think of this for a moment, this, the surface area of the small intestine is about two tennis courts. It's huge. So you have this organ that has this amazing surface area, which is supposed to only let through nutrients that are good for us. So vitamins, minerals, amino acids, fats, are supposed to come through that membrane. And the membrane has a very specific way it does it. If you can imagine for a minute that this is an intestinal cell and there's another one next to it and there's a glue that holds those two cells together, the food, digested food, is not supposed to go through between these two cells. That glue is supposed to hold it together so that food can only get through into your body if one of these cells actually accepts it. So the, the, the food gets taken up by the cell, the cell passes it through, right on the other side of the cell there's immune cells to screen it to make sure it's not a bad guy. And then the blood, uh, the capillaries are right after that and then the food gets taken into the capillaries and it gets circulated mostly to the liver where it then gets made into proteins or whatever else is supposed to happen. If people have food allergies, they're gluten intolerant or dairy intolerant or soy intolerant or egg intolerant or one of these things, or if they have parasites or bacteria or viruses that are in their intestine, the glue between these cells can become damaged and break down and now there is a space here. So you have huge surface area, two tennis courts, spaces between the cells and undigested proteins can come through and when they come through the immune system identifies them as foreign like meats and fish and egg the proteins are the worst because that's what the immune system is, is keyed in on and then you have the immune system reacting to these things unfortunately our tissues look a lot like the things that we eat and the immune system then attacks our tissue and it could be joints, so it's rheumatoid arthritis. It could be the colon and it's Crohn's disease. Or, uh, it could be the bladder and it's interstitial cystitis. It could be the brain or the myelin around the brain and it's uh, multiple sclerosis. So all these diseases get named a thyroiditis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. What happens? The immune system attacks the thyroid. It attacks the thyroid because it thinks that it's foreign tissue because it looks like other stuff that it's supposed to be attacking. It's a mistake, okay? We have to reprogram the body. We have to stop the leakage from coming through. Now the normal treatment, the regular treatment of these diseases is that you block the immune system, okay? Very powerful medications, steroids, uh, things that uh, sometimes uh, chemotherapy drugs. If you watch TV, you'll see things like Embril and Humira, which basically cripple the whole immune system. And so what happens is, is that it puts the person at risk for when they don't have a good immune system to cancer and weird types of infections. So sometimes these things as emergencies are necessary, okay? But as a long-term treatment, it's not that effective because the people have to stay on these medications. So what do we do? We get the the original thing that's wrong fixed. We get these junctions to seal up and we have nutrients that will do this. We get the foods that the person is sensitive to out of their diet. We give nutrients that will help heal the gut so that it doesn't leak anymore. And when you do that, the autoimmunity basically goes away and people get better. I want to give you a quick case. I have an 11 year old child that was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at age two. When I saw her at age 11, she still had swollen knees, she was being followed by rheumatologists, she was on steroids, and she was on methyltrexate, which is a chemotherapy drug. When we saw her, what we found is that the source of her autoimmunity was partly food and partly it was Lyme disease. 
And when we took care of her Lyme disease and handled her food and sealed up her intestine, her arthritis went away. She was able to wean off of her medication. It's now been three years. She's a normal, healthy teenager, active with no problems. So she got treatment, which kept her sort of steady, but the treatment has long-term consequences and potential bad effects. Whereas if we were able to heal her up, she was able to get better. So we know how to handle this disease. If you suffer from something like this where you've been told that you have an autoimmune condition, you should call us up because we're really good at this and most people we can really help so that you can restore your health back to normal and you don't need medications anymore to keep you functional.